To win, Patrick Rafter stifled Richard Krajacek in a way the stifling heat could not, through persistence and a lot of perspiration. Two reasons this win was a big relief. It, it is a big relief. It's, it's, um, you know, I would have liked to have rolled around the court like I did the US Open, have all that emotion, but I, I feel I was just so tired that it was, as you said, it was a relief. Especially when one considers that Krajacek had won six of seven previous matches between the pair. Before the match, I had the feeling that uh, I had the better cards to win uh, the match. But um, yeah, I have to give credit to him. He just played be better, he moved better, and I think he did basically everything better. So much better, Rafter didn't surrender a single set the entire tournament, yet still sees room to improve. I could do a little bit more of my serve, I think. I would like to get a fraction more pace on it. It would be nice in this days. I can't really complain, though. <laughs> Nor should he. Rafter will likely be ranked number three heading into the U.S. Open, where last year he became the first Aussie to win that tournament since John Newcomb in 1973. And now Rafter becomes the first Aussie to win this tournament since Newcomb in 1971. And by sheer coincidence, he does it on the 60th birthday of Rod Laver, the greatest Aussie of them all. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.